Hey, what's going on, friends? I'm back at another week. I got a few items I picked up. One from the Gaza fundraiser t-shirt to uh, yeah, help those people out in June. And then a Palace Fry Fern tea. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. First things first, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm not really sure what this channel is right now. I'm sort of in a weird transition phase where I'm moving right now and I'm kind of like re-gearing my life, seeing what I want to do. I've been going through a lot of items and reselling a lot here in Montana while I've been here. And uh, my life here is pretty boring, you know, lately. It's just get up, make oatmeal eat that for breakfast, go to work, deliver the mail, come home, hang out with Abby a little bit, make one of these videos maybe, go out to a nice restaurant or you know, hiking an event or whatnot. Like this weekend, I was scraping a bunch of paint off of my deck, repainting that. I gotta have this house completely painted so it can sell. I'm thinking this channel is more gonna turn into curating fits and maybe showing a little bit of my life here and there, especially once I actually make my move and I'm fully established at my new uh, place, my new domicile, then I'm really going to be able to start filming a little bit more. I'm not sure what the next few months are going to hold really, because I really can't buy a lot right now. I mean, I got items still that are trickling in or like, you know, this palace tea I really had to grab. But for the most part, I got to let all these things go because I can't just like ship these all with me because I'm hoping to move to Honolulu. And if I do move there, then I'm going to have to get a small condo. I'm not going to have any room. This is not going to work. <laughs> Definitely hit me up if you want to copy items talk to you on Instagram I'm gonna get into this Gaza tea first this one has a little bit of a new story behind it I actually donated uh, some money and therefore I was able to get this t-shirt It was actually embroidered by people in Palestine uh, Palestinians and this was right after the airstrike that the Israeli army uh, conducted. A bunch of Palestinians were harmed. Overall, bad situation. The first break and ceasefire. And so, anyways, it looks like they're giving me a paper of where my money went. A dish is the company that I went through. It looks like they do election reform. This is talking about HR. 2590, defending the human rights of Palestinian children and families living under Israeli Military Occupation Act. Palestinians are going through some turmoil right now. There's some social media accounts you can follow uh, that it talks about to stay kind of up to date down here at the bottom. I know I should probably make links, but just like, you know, type that in. Just type it. Old school, right? Stay up to date. Anyways, I'm saddened that the world uh, destroys itself and people are rude to each other, but I mean, we're getting better. I mean, humanity was a lot more savage, so we're making progress, I gotta say. So I love donating to foundations that are just helping people out there that are really in bad places. So at the time, people in Gaza were really dealing with some stuff. Looks like they're still dealing with it and uh, we can definitely help them out. Also, you know, local companies, you can always donate to those. Sky High Farms, this is a great community farm. It's got more information on the back but anyways they offer food <laughs> to people in the United States that you know maybe can't afford it and so yeah Sky Hire Farms is a cool option as well but there's so many so many dope uh, organizations out there really doing some good this t-shirt I guess I didn't really show you guys the plastic there it is but uh, I don't know is it really even that important to see this <laughs> tag on this tee? Probably not, but it is really cool because they actually have the signature of the person who made this uh, garment. These were, yeah, like I said, made by the Palestinian people. And here's our little garment tag. It's kind of cool how it has that information about the person who made it. Cool little fact and should be washable for the most part. I mean, I can't wash it a million times, but oh, hey, here we go. There's all of the companies that helped put it together. And maybe you guys know a few of these. Look at that. I didn't even know Cactus Plant Flea Market was on here. Uh, I think that's the only one I didn't know about, but it looks like a dish and election reform are two different companies. So it's never too L8. Oh, it's never too late. 
<laughs> nice. Come tease. Uh, brilliant. Pam, Parks, and Mini. Brain dead. I love brain dead. And denim tears. Hey, look, I'm wearing denim tears right now. And I got two denim tear shirts. I mean, this doesn't really count, I guess, but this is the embroidery from the Palestinians. The poppy. That is uh, what this little red is. Yeah. That is embroidered by Occupy Palestinians. I did get a shipping update on this shirt, letting me know that it was late because because it was stuck in an occupied part of a country and they were all on hold. So anyways, I'm gonna throw this one on. I wanna see how the sizing is. Tell me what you think, people. All right, yeah, so this tee definitely fits like a pretty standard size large. I gotta say it's not quite as long as maybe some large tees, but has a good amount of width to it. Shoulders are a little bit dropped maybe but not much. I mean, yeah, it's a tiny bit wider than maybe some large tees, but let me know what you guys think. Can I match this green print with all of this blue? <laughs> I'm wearing so much blue right now. Um, yeah. So, glad to help out the Palestinians. And now we move on to Palace. This one is the Dawn to Dusk. I love sunlight, and this tea is like all about sunlight. I'm gonna see, there's probably some stickers in here. I don't wanna lose them. I'll get this t-shirt out of here. It's nice, bright green. Holy, that is limey. I did not realize how bright it was gonna be. Almost construction bright. Not quite that bright, but pretty close. Got a receipt in here, and then I did get a Palace Triferg sticker. There we go. All right, so Palace with their packaging, they do put their t-shirts in these branded Ziploc bags. You have the Triferg on there. You have this little tiny label on here as well. This tells you about the t-shirt, the name of it. and. And the color, uh, yeah, this is, I guess it's a little bit of white to the lime, I guess that sort of makes sense, but you can already sort of see the graphic in here, or at least I can. I'm gonna take it out of this Ziploc because this t-shirt is so dope. I do actually want to wear it. I'm gonna be selling some of my older stuff, not all my newer stuff, you know? Gotta still enjoy those things. Um, man, right off the bat, look at this. We have like this lighter section in here that looks like a possible stain in when they were packaging it or something. I don't know. Yeah, and then they just fold it like a square. Fold it like a big giant square. They did put some tissue paper and a moisture reducer in here. Keeps it all safe and whatnot on here does say, dust till dawn right up here in white. You are invited to, that's what this top part says. You're invited to dust till dawn. And then we have the palace trifurk. We have the sun there. We've got our unicorn over here. Look at that unicorn is beautiful. This is like a magenta, the outline and whatnot is magenta. And then you have the purple or the actual letters. I wonder if this would really even work. You have to be careful about the purple. I don't know if just any purple is gonna work with this, but you never know. I might go grab some purple shorts or something real quick. I'm gonna try this size large palace t-shirt on. Here's the tag on the back of the neck real quick. And then we have our tag on the bottom left. Palace skateboards. A little information there. Dewan t-shirt. At least that's what this one's called. Okay, let me get a fit together. So, I don't really have a hat that works, but there are some glasses to keep your hair back, something like that. I've had it up all day working anyway, so it's nice to have it down, honestly. But here we go. Wearing some Eric Emanuel with these beach vibe, totally Hawaii vibe shorts. I'm definitely gonna have to bring these with me to Hawaii. And I don't know about this shirt. You think I need to bring this shirt with me? I might. Definitely fits like a size large for American sizing, not undersized, not oversized, just nice standard American sizing. I'm six foot one, 155 pounds. It kind of gives you an idea for what you're looking at. This t-shirt is a little bit long for a large, but a lot of t-shirts are about this length and size large. So it's not really that much extra long. The width on it is about average. I mean, honestly, it's just like a classic fit, a, a standard fit T. So anyways, besides some Apple information leaking about the notch being smaller, the camera being a 1.4 aperture and doing some good video. Uh, they got a bunch of different sizes. One of them is going to be one terabyte, whatever, Apple news. That's all great tech news, but some good sneaker news is we have the Jordan brand officially unveiling the holiday 2021 collection. We have starting off the Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's Bubblegum sneaker. That one's kind of cool. Looks like that one is a pink and blue combination uh, color blocking there. A, a dark looking like navy. Has a combination of Nubuck 
and patent leather. So that one is uh, kind of a cool little colorway. We have the Bordeaux Air Jordan 1 High OG, and that one has that nice wine colored hues and the silver swoosh and the white base. Tasteful little sneaker there. It's kind of a nice colorway. Some good color blocking there. The Air Jordan 1 High OG handcrafted. This one is a, I don't know, it's, it's not terrible. It's got colors everywhere. They even switch up the laces halfway up like the Union Jordan 1s. I guess they call those now just two-tone laces. Pretty popular, I guess. Everybody's two-toning their laces now. But uh, yeah, it has a whole bunch of just different elements to it. The colors all sort of blend together, very earth tony, even though the green and the purple are in there. But uh, the next one up is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Patent Leather. This one is just a crown jewel for a lot of people. I don't know, is it more dressy that way, I guess? Maybe it's more acceptable to wear it with a suit. Even though it has that white rim around it, they could really do something with that and make it more of a dress shoe, but it wouldn't maybe be as noticeable as a Jordan or something. I don't know. Anyways, pretty crazy looking shoe. I'm gonna go after it, but not necessarily just because I want to wear it. I mean, shiny shoes, I've never, I've had pairs of patent leather shoes, and I just never really wore them, and once they start to crease, then I just feel like they look weird, and whatever, I just, yeah, they look cheap after a while, but obviously, if it's a dope silhouette, then maybe you go to wear with it. Moving on with the Air Jordan 3 Pine Green. I mean, it's nice. Good color blocking. Has that elephant print on there. And uh, yeah, just kind of refreshing there. It looks like it has new buck leather. So the Air Jordan 3, this next one with all this different patchwork on it. Now, this is something I would actually design. This looks something like I would make. Just a bunch of nice earth tone, some decent prints that are a little bit subtle, some nice creams in there, some black hints, obviously. Heavy on the tan, a little bit of olive. I mean, this shoe is just amazing. If I was totally into wearing really warm shoes like the Air Jordan 3, this would be a must cop for me. Unfortunately, yeah, the Air Jordan 3 can get kind of warm, but who knows, the future is unwritten. I may get these in the future if that's how it works out. But <laughs> we're gonna move on to the Bluebirds. Yes, the Air Jordan 5, this woman's version is amazing, the perfect color for everybody. Literally this light blue, this icy blue, just, they did great. Basically it's all the same color except for the sole has some different vibes to it, but it, it really, comes together nicely, looks great. And then the next Air Jordan 5, the Jade Horizontal, literally this one is almost as good, so close. Has that nice olive color, that sea foam green almost in a way with those washed yellow, those dirty water yellow, <laughs> colored snow <laughs> yellow. <laughs> Seriously, this sneaker does have some good vibes to it. Jordan 5, also a warm shoe. I already have a pair of Jordan 5s, the top 3s. Those ones. Yeah, I never wear them because they're too warm, but anyways. Air Jordan 9, chili red. If you're into Air Jordan 9s, this is a solid. Air Jordan 12 royalty. Now, I've never really been an Air Jordan 12 wearer. They're just big and bulky, and so I've never really gotten into it personally. Okay, Air Jordan 13, court purple. Love the Air Jordan 13s. Yeah, this colorway is great. Gonna be great for a lot of different fits. Really great winter shoe. And the Air Jordan 14 low, women's shock pink. Never been an Air Jordan 14 low fan ever. I do have some Jordan 14 lows though, those Supreme ones with all the studs all over them and everything, but I really bought those because of the hype. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I bought them because I thought they might sell in a few years. Obviously, I knew they weren't gonna sell right away, but whenever I have a chance to get a Supreme Jordan, I'm I'm gonna take it, like, especially for retail, so. And with the Air Jordan 14, we also have the winterized version. This one basically looks like you have a football on your foot or something. It looks so much like not a shoe, I guess. But the Air Jordan 14 is just a different style altogether from a lot of the other Jordans. I guess this one does have that chili red in it in a few places, along with that really rich tan that's going on there. Looks like it's pretty premium leather from what I can see. It's a really solid looking shoe. So let me know what you guys think about the 2021 collection for Jordan brand. Are you one of those people that are just gonna go after everything and if you get lucky, then you get lucky and if you don't, then you just skip it? Or are you somebody who decides I want that shoe, I need it, I'm gonna find a way to get it, I'll just pay resale if I have to? Or are you the person that just like, Hey, so my camera just decided to be a little bitch just there and she 
fucking shut off on me. So you guys have no clue what I was going to say there, but I was basically talking about how you got to have a fucking goal. You got to be oriented to get something done. Like if you decide to just be a stagnant person and not do anything, then uh, your life is going to suck. And it might be cool for a little while, just being chill, not doing anything. But then after a while, it's going to be super stressful. You're going to have so much anxiety and you're going to be really a pain to be around. You're going to be a fucking asshole. You're going to be irritable because you're going to have these things that you were supposed to accomplish and your brain knows you were supposed to accomplish these things. These things are just in the back of your mind now and uh, they're just festering. Um, so yeah, get after those things. Start doing something. And then I realized my camera wasn't recording now, so then I said this. Right now, I'm working on moving to Hawaii. Bunch of work. I gotta get everything out of here. I gotta get rid of my house, get rid of everything in it, and move over. Very minimalistic lifestyle, most likely. I mean, come on, it's island life, so. It's gonna be super chill. I cannot wait. I really wanna learn to surf. I already know how to longboard, snowboard, skateboard. So, hopefully, that'll help me, you know? have a little bit of an edge, but I hear it's pretty great, especially if you have good instructors. So anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Okay. Time to hike. Have a party in the hood. Ain't work, but a stack on trying to get a pimp.